Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and today we're going with the burgundy. I love a good red, I love a good burgundy, I love a good 99J. It's a perfect switch up. If I'm not doing blondes, honey blondes, like honey browns, this is my color right here. I love it, I always get compliments, especially where I live, they always love this rich color. And sometimes they don't know it's not my hair, it's a wig. But today they don't think it's my hair when I am out and about. I did go for the wispy baby hair. And as you guys can see, when you do the wispy baby hair where you don't like slick it and, you know, slick it to the side, it does kind of like ruffle the feathers with having like a side part like this. So I'm probably going to like glue these down a little hairspray. But um, you guys can see the baby hair is absolutely popping. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into the install. Don't forget to check the description box on your way out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, ladies, let's get it. This is the packaging from Eula Hair. I've already been in the bag, so it's not packaged as pretty as it came. It did come in like a protective sleeve, and this is what it looks like straight out of the box. This is also a look at the inside construction of the cap. I love that it's a free part so you can literally part from ear to ear all the way back and it does come with an adjustable bra strap um, elastic band and I like to place that on first. I kind of push my braids down with it and then I apply the rest of the wig and this is pretty much what she looks like on. I'm jamming to my tunes so forgive me for all the dancing you're going to see in this video. This is what she looks like from the back. I'm absolutely in love as well as impressed with the way this one looks. If I did not mention, she is a 99J burgundy color deep wave wig in the length 24 inches. And this is a look at the parting as a center part. As I mentioned, this is a free part, so you can part her down the sides as well. So let's go ahead and pull the hair back and begin the install process. Because this one has a beautiful color and a wave pattern, we're not gonna do too much. We're gonna let the color speak for itself, but we do want a flawless hairline to go with it so i'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace around the ears this is what is going to make the wig fit perfectly and then i'm going to do a little bit of customization now the wig did come pre-plugged but of course it's always best to do your own customizations where you see fit so i did go around from ear to ear and just thin it out a little bit more that way just as i wear it even though it's a nice full wig the hairline will be a lot more gradient this is what it looks like when it first starts and then again i went ahead and just pulled some hair forward and plucked until i got my desired look from here i'm just taking the dimming brush and i'm just combing out the entire wig for starters i wanted to get all of that hair that i had tweezed out that got caught in the rest of the hair I wanted to get that out and then I wanted to see it like combed out and as you guys can see I was in love with the fullness I feel like what a flawless install and then like wearing it big like this would be so beautiful especially with like a really cute like headband say like on the beach a tropical vacation you got on like your Fendi bathing suit with your Fendi headband and like the hair is just big like this I think this is absolutely beautiful and again it shows versatility so that you don't have to always wear it in the same wave pattern sometimes you can comb it out like this sometimes you can silk press it straight you can wear it in like braids or just different ways to you know again give yourself some versatility I am going in with my red ebon. If you've been watching my recent videos, you know I completely ran out of this can. So this was previously recorded. Also, because I wanted it to just be an easy install, I did cut off the ear tabs. That way I don't have to bond anything down on the sides. The weather is about to start warming up, so I'm not trying to be worried about like keeping them little ear tabs and them little sideburns bonded down. I did go ahead and cover it with my melt belt from bdacbitty.com and blow dried on a cool setting till it completely dried. I just didn't feel like waiting for it to naturally air dry but of course you can do this step and skip the blow dryer and just let it blow dry or air dry rather on its own now let's do some baby hair so since the wig is nice and full and this is giving like vacation vibes i did opt for nice full wispy baby hair so i'm gonna do two little swoops and they're gonna be like at the high point like the arch of my eyebrow and i did go ahead and thin it out before i set it off next i'm going in and just cleaning up the hairline i feel like the cleaner the hairline it is the easier it is to see the end result or the vision so here i am just pressing it out really nice so that it looks you know nice and snatched but we are gonna take it up a notch even more in a minute again moving right along let's go ahead and just cut it shorter i did go ahead and curl it because again that is like the key to wispy baby here is when you curl it i've got also a fresh 
jar of my edge control from bdagbitty.com. I went ahead and whipped that thing open and we are going to go ahead and just form the baby hair exactly how we like it. And one thing about it, two things for sure, this hair was easy to work with. Sometimes you got to kind of help and guide the hair with a little bit of um, like the adhesive spray. But this wig, you definitely did not have to do that at all. Now, because I took away the sideburns, it's important that I make my actual sideburns super super slick this is the only way to make it really match and finesse so if you do want it to match completely i highly recommend that you go ahead and not cut off those sideburns so it can cover your natural hair but again it's to each its own now that we have both sides caught up let's go in with the dynamic duo i just loaded up a little bit of wax stick along the hairline and i'm just going in with the electric high comb to really press this area out and get it super super snatched and then we're going to go for a curved parting i believe this one is four inches in length so i'm working with what we have and i feel like a curved parting will give the illusion of like a longer parting because you all you see is that parting once I got it how I liked it, I went ahead and wet it down with some H2O. The spray bottle is linked in the description box. I love this one. This is my favorite spray bottle of all time. And then I went in with a little bit of this. This product here is actually the Aussie Moist. I think it's called the 3 Minute. And it's like a deep conditioner. I highly recommend that you do use like a leave-in or you can use even a mousse. But because this hair is so full, I wanted kind of like a heavier conditioner to kind of like define the curls. And I feel like this was perfect and it smells so good added a little bit more water set it with the dimming brush and then i went in and concealed the parting with the fenty concealer and then i set off the hairline with the ruby kisses foundation powder i had two different shades and kind of decided which one worked best the one that was darker than me i think this is either 14 or 15 i'll have it in the description box and then that was pretty much it okay babies let's make it short and sweet i just wanted to show you guys the end result this is the hairline oh the thing about wispy baby hair is like when you cover it that's definitely gonna make it move i want it wispy baby hair because i don't want it like glued down to my forehead if you will um but this is one of those cases where like it kind of would make sense to kind of like um go ahead and get that in there because it's embarrassing me right now let me show you it from the back And it's nice and full. This is what it looks like when you hold it in a ponytail. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eula, as I mentioned. Goodies provided. Just like some, um, you know, like hair information, instructions, and so forth. Wig cap. And then some nice natural lashes. I wish I'd have seen these because you guys can see I'm going no lashes today. I just wasn't in the mood for anything like mean, 3D heavy. I just... My eyes weren't watering today, which is a surprise, but I just wasn't in the mood, so I didn't. But these would have been perfect because something like this is like light, but it kind of gives you a little bit of drama. And then also, rat tail comb, and it does say Eula hair on both sides. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check the description box for a direct link and all the details. Um, and everything we used to complete this look. You already know the list links are there. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.